you know me, you know, I don't drink fizzy drink use guys, but this is the only way that I feel like I can drink it if I feel like, you know, you know, I don't drink alcohol or fizzy drink, so this, oh, <laughs> I saw it a little, and I was like, I drink J2O when I go out sometimes. But apple and watermelon, I was like, this is a nice little presentation. I've never seen J2O like this before. Oh, well, let's try it. And it's okay. Mm. So, let's get into this topic. Do I think that we should date more outside our race? I think you should go wherever love follows. This is my thing, right? I think I've grown up with so many different emotions about dating outside your race, interracial relationships. I think... I never ever saw it as an issue because interracial relationships, I grew up with it. Like, that was part of my upbringing growing up. Like, my God, my uncles were always with white women. But, so I never found it a thing until I got into this community, this gay community, and where people were actively seeking it. I think that is a different thing, whereas people are just genuinely falling in love with who they're falling in love with. But when you're actively seeking an interracial relationship or going out of your way to have one just because I feel like that's when it's a problem so um for instance love is love love it, we're the only people that judge love doesn't have love doesn't discriminate it's not prejudice you know it doesn't you, you can love anyone you can fall in love with anyone as long as someone's shown you everything that you need you can fall in love with anybody anybody but this is the thing that i did as well because with the thing with black men black men are my preference yeah but black men is i feel like it, they make it hard to love them so i can understand why a lot of people a lot of black women and a lot of black men as well actively go outside of their race in the same instance to find love and to find someone to be with because a lot of black men make it hard to love, you know? They make it so hard to love them, so hard. And I can understand, I know, past trauma and, you know, being a product of your environment and seeing what you're seeing and not feeling love like this and not being loved so you don't know how to love. You don't know how to navigate love. You don't know how to handle love. You don't know how to receive love. But I feel like you get to a certain point where you have to take responsibility for your actions and you know when you're hurting people. How long are you going to keep allowing yourself to have a cycle of hurt? You know, hurt people hurt people. And a, major a majority of our community are broken people, unfortunately. And instead of people to try and rectify that, they just go continuing hurting people, hurting people over and over again. And it's hard, you know. I've dated a lot of men. And I think it's very unfortunate that not one situation I can really be, you know, that just didn't work. There's always something, something somewhere, something, always something. And if that's me as a man, I can only imagine what a woman can feel. You have to remember, women, a lot of women are, they have, they feel like their time's ticking. Their, their biological clock to have kids, you know. And I understand it because as much as, yeah, we see people having children in their 50s, their 60s, even 70s. That's good for them, but no one wants to be an old parent, you know. And a lot of people just want, they have, they have a certain goal. And they want to be married with kids by a certain time. To me, I feel like you it's a something it's it's more something that should be as like a aspired for, like it should be an aspiration that you would like, but you shouldn't put too much you shouldn't put too much thought into it because you can't even if you said you wanted to have a child in two years, it, it could literally be impossible. Like it might not even work for you like that. You know, so you can't put pressure on yourself like that. It's overbearing. But I, I can understand there's a lot of people that get treated like shit. And they seem to think that if they go to a different race, like with a white man or with an Asian man or with an Indian man, Hispanic, it will be better. 
but you just have to remember when you have that mentality i feel like you're always gonna attract some shit to be honest with you regardless because men are men you can find dickheads in every race and i've definitely experienced dickheads in every race and the top of my list of dickheads were indians i did not know you could get fuck boy indians you know because you know obviously i know because i have friends and i've heard stories but uh, men are men okay you're gonna find dickheads but i never experienced that because that was never my um preference so you hear things but you don't really take it too much on you know because it's not your thing so it was like oh, it's not gonna happen to me anyway because that's that's terrible for you babe like you know but mm, if i tell you the story of this indian man that popped into my dms yeah it's not like it was terrible but he was so arrogant and i've actually had a few indian experiences actually but talking wise we've never like met because it's never got to that point because a lot of them are dl anyway but with their dlness they can be so they could be this ooze dickheadness like the scent of dickhead is what you smell when they're in my dms oh my god you know how arrogant this one was the one that hopped into my thingy bob just a few days ago <laughs> my goodness and that's not the only one there's another one talking real nice and then suddenly sent me his dick which wasn't anything to be proud of and then he was like oh i just want to fuck it's just so sordid like stop i don't like i don't understand and then with the same thing when i've dated white men i've always felt fetishized and it's not just one like you saw one story because that was the only person that i actually had sex with but i've dated i have actually dated i've just not been open about talking about it because it's just life in it <laughs> But I have, and I feel like I have been open. I am open-minded, actually, because love is love. Like, you can't not be restricted. I have my preference. I know what I want. I love myself. I, I love my culture. I love who I am. So why wouldn't I want to be with a black man? Like, <laughs> mm, like it happens all the time. Like, it's, it's normal for you culturally to want to be with your own, actually. It's a normal thing. But... I mean, to think that, I think it's a different thing for to say, it's a different thing being open to dating other races and you just feeling like you're confined not to just because of the your, their environment or the people around you are going to judge and stuff, which to be honest, they will get over it. If they can't get over it, then that's their own business. At the end, love is not here to be waiting for anyone's approval. You fall in love and that's that. It's love or it's not. There's no in between. There's no black and white. Love is love, literally. So you can fall in love with whoever and that could be it so if people don't like it that's their own business they can kick rocks that's none of their business but if you're actively seeking and going out of your race thinking that you're gonna find something better because of who maybe the white man you're with the white men you date or the black men you date maybe or the indian man you date because you're having troubles there so you feel like you're actively going to go to another race for with that mind frame you're only going to attract the same troubles because you have to remember the only thing that separates us is our skin tone at the end of the day because at the end of the day all our organs are very much there's no uh, we can put a white man an indian man a hispanic man you can open us all up we'll all be exactly the same inside so this honestly it <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't differentiate or who could be a dickhead or what if someone gonna fuck you over they're gonna fuck you over and it doesn't matter where they're from let's just so don't have that stupid mentality of thinking yeah i want to date white men because black men are like this but i understand just say that you want to be more open if you say i don't feel i'm going to be more open to love i, I don't want my I feel like I want to start broadening my horizons and maybe I want to try other races but don't do it in an in an effort to think you're to feel like you're going to escape from men being dickheads or from being cheated on or for whatever you've gone through because you're going to walk yourself right into that as well and it will just be so stupid because that's what I did when I actively started dating out it was because I didn't feel like 
it was any easier dating a black man. I was like, oh, this is annoying. No one wants a relationship. Everyone seems like a fuckboy. Everyone's cheating. Everyone's here. You just want sex, 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 sex. You know what? Let me try and date a white man. So when I did, I started talking. We was talking for two months that one had sex with. Two months. And I was like, you know what? This could be it, you know? I actually was like, this could be my it. After, it just ended up being another fetish. I spoke two more, I went on a date with one. He just tried to do the most to act black. I hated it so much. Like, he was acting black. I didn't like that. He was acting more cultured than I was. And it's so horrible when it's forced. Like, the only thing that, that would, could have slipped out of his mouth with, the, with another black person would have him saying the N-word. Besides that, he was really doing the most. Oh, my God, it was so annoying. I did not like it. And then the other ones, they act, they're so sweet. And then, before you know it, they start with the fetishizing again. So, I just, I've never just met a genuine <laughs> man outside of my face. It just seems generally nice, you know, without any, no nonsense. Just wants to get, get to know you. And then if you do meet those type of people... You're never attracted to them. It's always the ones that you're not attracted to that are that are the ones that are like that. It's so frustrating. That is the most frustrating thing. It's always the ones that you're not attracted to that want to give you the most attention. And you know the thing with me? I give myself, I give those people attention. And I tell you, I kid you not, I have been fucked over the worst by those type of people. I will never listen to someone again when they say, um, what's that saying? Always go out with the person that loves you more than the person that you fall in love with. Than the person that you love more or something like that. I can't remember. But it is definitely when someone likes you more, they say go out with that person because that person will never betray you. That person will always be loyal. That's a fucking lie because I did that and that person hurt me the worst. That that You know who you are because you're going to watch this video. Yes, that is you. That is you. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. I didn't have any interest in you. <laughs> Took me some time. Then when I decided to be vulnerable and open myself up, I fell in love with you. And then you fucked me over and you cheated. And you hurt me. So, no. I will never do that again. Never. And I always feel like... I'm not a charity. This is not juniorjoy.oxfam.com. I mean, I don't understand. When I watch these 600 pound people on the bed here and they can't get off the bed. The other day I was watching this person and this person's partner was fine. I was like, you can't even get off the bed. It helps you wipe yourself from the crack. All your tummies, all of them. One, two, three, four. All inside, inside the legs, the hundreds legs. One, two, oh, loads of leg. All spread out on the bed. This person could not move. And they have the most gorgeous person. Loyal. Sweet person. An enabler. Because those people enable those people. I seem to think those people have a fetish as well. Because they 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 get them everything the person needs those people that are with people that can't get off the beds they they have a fetish i don't know i'm sorry they have a sort of fetish with those type of people as well that 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 i feel like they need to be needed that something like it makes them feel needed it makes them feel it makes them feel relevant important almost when they have um people like that as partners yeah actually but we're going into a whole different topic. So, I don't have anything wrong. I don't have any problems with interracial dating, per se. Absolutely not. I just feel like you need to do it for the right reason. Do it because you generally want love. Because if you go feeling like it's, it's going to be the, the, the rate that another race is better because you've been hurt by your own race and, you know, you want to find better, I feel like you're just going to walk yourself into worse, to be honest. It's such a... It's, it's all with mentality. Just be open because you want to be open. Even if that's what you feel, don't speak it out loud and try not to think it. My gosh. It's like me saying, I've had enough of this car. I'm going to try a different brand of car because I've just had enough. And then for me to be having problems with that brand, it's, it's going to be so stupid. You don't go into life thinking like that. You want to try something new because you just want to try something different. It's, it does nothing wrong with that. And no one should ever make you feel any less for doing that, honestly. Like, we, I don't know who I can fall in love with. I can fall in love with one white man. How do I know that my, my soulmate is not even meant to be Indian or an Asian man? 
How would I know? You don't know. You think you know these things just because you feel like you have a preference, but you don't know. Because I'm, t I'm not going to lie. As much as I can be like, yeah, black men are my preference. You don't think I get fed up my own damn self. I'm fed up. I've been fed up. What do you mean I've been single for so long? Oh, my God. So I'm been fed up. <laughs> I'm sick of them. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. I just pray. I'm I'm a very I'm always optimistic, and I'm like, you know what? One day, one day, that man is gonna come into my life, and he's gonna treat me right. Is I'm gonna get his everything, everything. Oh, I'm making a video. <laughs> wow, that one's gonna get his everything. So. See how fast that door closed. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you guys. Um, I'll see you tomorrow in the next video. Um, I hope you like this video. I hope it helped in some way. It helped you, babe, especially you because you are, because you know who you are. And um, love is love, man. Don't be scared. You know, go out there. You have a whole life to live. And then one other thing, I feel like people just try and avoid being hurt. Like, you can't avoid it. It's inevitable. You're going to be hurt all the time. Like, I mean, you can be hurt every single day. You might not even acknowledge it. Do you know how much times I have cuts here and there? I'm like, how the hell did I get that? If I was to try and not get hurt in my daily life, it would never work. Because I even get stuff in my sleep that I don't even know how I get. So, do you just have to... Just have to be open about everything, honestly. And I always think it, it's mentality first. I think you are, you're going to attract what you are and who you are and exactly what you think in that moment. So if you're thinking positive things, you're strong, you're headstrong, you know what you want to do, you have your goals in place, I feel like you're most likely to meet someone good. It might not be everything of your standard, but you're going you're gonna to have people good coming to your life because that's the energy that you're giving out you remember we work on frequencies and energies and vibes if we are keep attracting the same of what we're attracting then i'm telling you like it's what we're giving out and i think for myself i would i can say half of what i'm giving out but with the way that i am and the, the the way that people view me on social media, it's not any shock that I attract dickheads. But I'm not putting myself out there. So it's that's a different thing. I think if I was to try and put myself out there now properly and get on sites, I might actually have some luck, you know. But I just don't believe in sites for myself anymore. Like, that is one avenue I'm not going down again. Mm -mm. I ain't done sites in a long ass time and I'm not about to do it now. Nothing ever nothing good ever came from a site for me i know how i want to meet my person i want to meet my person in my in my reality and it's so for me that actually happens to be my reality because it, it happens to be a part of my daily my ass my daily life and it's what i'm on a lot anyway so if i met someone on instagram i wouldn't feel too bad about it but i actually would really like like the stories like i'm going to little and i'm at the the vegetable aisle looking at my tomatoes and he's there across looking at me and he's looking at the garlic and i was looking at me he's like you're all right you need help every day i'm like i'm fine so what's your name where are you from and then you know we end up walking and talking and then it's a love story i met my man in little i would like a story like that like in my reality i would love to meet someone in like just your normal every day and fortunate for me i've i actually have that kind of luck because a lot of people don't get that me for a man i get it a lot actually i get a lot of attention in the street i mean i i i get i'm i'm definitely very fortunate they are <laughs> i mean it's not like it's not anything i i mean evidently i'm not with anyone so <laughs> it's nothing miraculous but it's very possible I think it's because of how I hold my... I think it's how you carry yourself. Everything is in a walk. 
in the way you express yourself, in the way you move, in the way you think about yourself. I mean, when I leave my house, I'm walking, especially if I'm listening to this nice song, yeah. Oh my God, I feel sexy instantly. So everything is switching up and that confidence is beaming and those men's eyes are looking, yes, looking. <laughs> you like what you see? <laughs> I do too. I mean, I like what I see as well. <laughs> when I left the house, I loved what I saw. <laughs> that was nice. Especially in this quarantine, you know. There are extra people that look just a teeny bit more. Oh my God, I get excited. I never used to care about people looking before. Yeah, actually, that's a lie. When I, I really used to crave attention because I never used to get it. And then when I started getting it, I didn't really like it. And then I went through a phase where it was like, it's whatever. Then I went through a phase like... I liked it, so if you looked, and then I just, it's whatever, people look, it's like, okay, yeah, yeah. But now, when I do go out, and I get look, I'm like, no, after they look, I'm like, ah! <laughs> someone looks at me, <laughs> it just made me so happy, I don't know, it's like, yeah, <laughs> look. <laughs> I think because you're always locked inside most of the time and you don't really have interaction outside. So when you do see someone attractive and then they actually do look, it's like, oh, <laughs> yeah, look at me. <laughs> Make that bum jiggle a little bit more. Make that walk a bit more swift. <laughs> I'm so extra, honestly. <laughs> oh, oh, Gina, you are a fool. <laughs> Let me go. Let me go. Ending this video. I've just yacked on so much. I don't talk about it anymore. But love who you want to love, babe. Love who you want to love. I think I need to do another aspect of this video. Maybe I should talk tomorrow. Are black men hard to love? <gasps> Why are black men so hard to love? That's tomorrow's video. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.